Okay, we are back. Uh, so until William H. Morrow the third calls, which will be in, I guess, in about five minutes. I'll. I just want to show you something that we have been selling from the uh, Mega Life 21 hard-hitting progressive internet talk radio station, which happens to be at the top of NewsletterCensor.com. And this is liquid red Panax ginseng extract, mega dose with royal jelly, with a mega dose of royal jelly, okay, in liquid vials, 30 liquid vials, that's one month supply of high quality. Hurry up on one! I told this guy that. Hello? Yeah, Bill. Bill, how are you? Hey, Bill, you're a little early. Let, let me just finish this promo. You're, you're, you're a few minutes early. Hold on. Okay. Mega dose liquid red Panax ginseng extract with royal jelly. Right from mainland China. Comes in this beautiful red and gold box. And it can be found on the Mega Life 21 Progressive. Uh, hard hitting internet talk radio station okay uh, this is one month supply uh, two of the oldest time proven tonics known to humanity and you can get yours now it's one month supply okay William H Morrow the third how are you doing sir I'm alright fellas how are you good not bad where's your location now Jersey haven't gone anywhere over a week it's good you've been home okay Okay, now I know before you you go on with your very important topics and monologue, I know you have something important to say about the newsletter censored. Well, the obvious is the best way to join your organization is to go to www.newslettercensored.com and get your free annual subscription with your gift to support this work. We're living in end times, so you need newsletter censored. That's right, people. NewsletterCensored.com, the very backbone of our organization and the best way to join our organization. Do it now. Okay, William, uh, go ahead with uh, your monologue. Well, this is not a monologue as much as uh, what bothered me this week with people getting incensed and having a fit over here. The question Dr. Phil had on his website or what have you, which again goes back to what we have discussed many weeks in the past about being thin-skinned. I don't understand all the stink about it. It's very a very simple formula. He asked a question. He did not make a statement that it's his belief or anything. He tried to provoke thought and get people's responses. Now you tell me where that is bad, wrong, whatever you want to, whatever term you want to give to that. And I think most people will realize, I will repeat it, he said, if a girl is drunk, is it okay to have sex with her? Now, what did he ask that was so wrong here? And I don't understand the outcry, why well, it's been all over the press, like what he said is so wrong. I think it's, it, it's we're, our skin is getting thinner with each passing week. It, you can't even open your mouth, you can't even ask a question now. Yeah. Maybe people are thinking about you making a statement. Now you ask a question, Whatever happened to, happened to the inquiring mind. Yeah. In, in, independent free thinkers, too. Well, he's provoking thought. Yeah. Dialogue. A he asked has... a question. He did not make a statement. What is wrong with that? No, he, I he, don't get it. it. I do not understand this. He was trying to ascertain whether or not, I, uh, whether or not it is uh, considered... Uh, uh, mutual consent when if a woman happens to be intoxicated he was just asking for people's opinions and they got all upset over it, right? Yeah, he didn't say that. He, nowhere did it say this is his opinion. It didn't say it's his staff member's opinion. It didn't say it's anybody's opinion. You're asking a question. He wants to get your opinion. He wants to see your, meaning the public. What, what is your opinion? And they get all on this guy for this. I'm totally in his corner. 
I just think this is wrong what they're doing. I mean, uh, simple question. Uh, if you want my opinion, in response to this question, if a girl is drunk, is it okay to have sex with her? No, it's not. No, it is absolutely not. No, she's not on the right frame of mind or, or body wellness at the time. So, so under the influence. I, I don't think you really want any of this right now. It's, uh, you know, no. I would say no. I've been there. And uh, no, I wouldn't do it. I won't do that. No, I guess I'm, I'm going to offend people by saying that. Yeah, I agree. No what, what you say, it will never be right in many people's mind. Many people will probably say, I'm a fool for even responding to his question. So you're never going to please anybody. You never yeah. will. I agree with you, Billy. I agree with you. It, it, the, the girl is under the influence of alcohol. And uh, she's not in her quote-unquote right mind to make a, a, a honest cognitive uh, uh, not, I agree to be, it's not to get decision. Be a gentleman to... No, and she I'm won't sorry. be able to feel properly. And she won't be able to. She won't be able to. Well, that's another. That's problem. another story, uh, Reverend Bill. She won't be able to feel the experience properly. No, it's, it's not a question of pleasure. It's a question of of consent. That's all, you know. Uh, right, and does she of sound mind at that moment of consent? I don't think so. Oh, the, I mean, let's be honest, yeah. look what alcohol does to people in the human body. Uh, <laughs> under the influence, how you drive. Yeah. Under the influence, how more loose many people become. They lose their inhibitions, as they say. Uh, True. Alcohol does funny things to people does different things to different people. True. It affects people, different people, in yeah, many makes me different put a ways. On me. Some people become violent. We've seen, we've been become there all and seen it happen in clubs we've gone from the past. Mm -hmm. As they call it, liquid courage. Liquid now courage. They drink a little bit, get big and brave, yeah. and think they can pick a fight and beat the world. Hey, saying saying things online on, on a computer is, you can, you can call that cyber courage. <laughs> Nobody's there to, you know, so to speak, punch your lights out. But if the guy was there facing you, would you say the same thing, right? Look him in the eye and say it? I'm uh, sorry, you probably wouldn't, a lot of things. Yeah, I mean, uh, they, didn't they make a big stink many years ago when they fired Jimmy the Greek Snyder for telling That's a truth? Totally truth wrong. I don't, I have not agreed with CBS in many cases. They don't seem to stand behind their people. <clears throat> All Jimmy the Greek to me did was pay the black, the black athletes a compliment by saying, I, th I remember that was 30 some odd years ago, they jump higher and run faster or whatever because they have some tendon or ligament in the back of their foot or in their heel or something. Now how is that a put down or a reason to well, fire someone? Well he also said something else and, and what he said I think was true. He says the reason why the, the, the black athletes today are so much uh, have so much physical prowess and athleticism is because during during the uh, the days of slavery the uh, the plantation owners did selective breeding they 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 put the biggest and strongest uh, black uh, male slave together with the biggest and strongest black female slave to produce big athletic big strong offspring you know tall by the same token, muscular. Saying, let's be honest too. The blacks, as, as any ethnicity, has the same problems the white man has too. They've got their people with Down syndrome. They've got their cancers. You know, so this prowess of blood, and that's all gone by the way. So yeah, yeah, but but Billy's uh, uh, selective breeding is a scientific fact that you can you can do it with any creature. Well, it's been questioned a lot too because you know as far as breeding goes, look at some of the white men, some of the, the strongest Patterson men, man Patterson? competition, mm -hmm. which is on ESPN annually or more so. The, the, the bulk of these guys are all white. Only one or two Americans. They're all from different countries, Czechoslovakia, Hungary, what have you. So every group or ethnicity has its strong yeah. and, and its weak. It's hard to say. I'm sure people that breed uh, Rottweilers and pit bulls, they selectively breed those for the best qualities, the best traits. Well, also, they, there's been questions about what 
protecting an animal is why it raised violent animals, too. Animals that seem to attack or turn on their owners more frequently yeah. than others do, too. Like the practice Bernard, makes perfect. Uh, Rottweilers. Uh, you don't hear much talk about Dobermans anymore, in terms of like you used to. That used to be the number one. Do Dobermans, were, Dobermans were popular back in this, like, 70s and 80s. That's right. It's been, like, 30 years. You don't hear a lot of talk about them anymore. The last time I'd seen Dobermans on TV was a Magnum P.I. Weren't they in one of the James Bonds? Mr. Uh, Higgins, was it? Was his name? Mr. Higgins. Yeah. I don't know. I never watched the show. I'm sorry. Tom yeah. Selleck. Tom Selleck. Mm -hmm. oh, you never seen it? Yeah, he had a couple of uh, uh, Dobermans on his property in Hawaii, uh, uh, and they were guard dogs. And, uh, yeah, and they, they, they Selleck had to avoid them. Yeah, yeah. They used to chase, try to bite Tom yeah, Selleck's exactly. ass on, on the show. But. It's not a bit up and funny. The last Doberman I remember was the Sergeant Bilko show. Remember yeah. those people? That's the last Doberman I remember. I love the red ones. Uh, somebody owns a, a young a young red one in my neighborhood. In, uh, you know, not to change the subject, I don't know why they clip the ears of certain breeds like Dobermans and Pit Bulls. No, but, but I, I heard it and I can't remember what it is, but it is for a certain reason, if not a health reason. I yeah, they, 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 it's cosmetic only. they crop, they call it crop and dock or something, I think. They mm -hmm. clip the tail. I don't know. Well, certain species, do they cut the tail short? They cut the tail short. Uh, uh, so yes, they do. Not with German Shepherds, but German Shepherds are beautiful, such an intelligent dog. They are. You know, they're really... Yes, yes, I, think, I think the blue eyes are very husky. Well, they're temperamental. They're the, but, but they are. I don't want to get, I don't want to get too, I don't want to get off the track. Uh, is there... You, you just made it out, I can barely hear you, buddy. Yeah, no, uh, uh, now you, you were going to discuss, there were one or two other subjects that you jotted down that you wanted to bring up. Um, I could be I wrong. I remember, I, I don't have my paper with me right now. I can't. If you can, you know, check well, my memory a little bit, please. Uh, yeah, that's why you gotta... I, I do not remember. That's why you gotta have the paper on the table. Um, yeah. Yeah, you gotta have that paper. Uh, let's see. Let me try to remember. Uh, but, you know, getting back to what you're, you were saying before about society today is just so thin-skinned. People are afraid to say no. They're, they're afraid to say no to their children. They're afraid to say to disagree and say no to any to a, any lobbying group in society, uh, uh, especially these these pussies that run the uh, the major networks. You know, America. Well, it's, it's people are almost over their mouths anymore. Maybe that's why, why they protecting each other, which I hate. Yeah. I don't believe in protecting <laughs> right myself. But, uh, you know, they're open your mouth nowadays. Everything you say is wrong with you. Yeah, they're so afraid. It's not right. It's just not right at all. Especially uh, certain individuals are so afraid of offending somebody. Everybody is so easily oh, no, offended. We discussed that before. What the hell does it mean, offended? What do you mean you're offended? Remember we discussed this. What does it feel like? What, what do you mean you're offended? I, I, that's a word to me that really has no true definition. You're offended. Everybody's offended. Well, they want to be... offends me. They want to be. That, Jimmy, you've known me 30 yeah. plus years. Nothing offends me. You can call me every swear word, name, yeah. everything. Well, what they want to be. They want to be coddled. It's almost yeah, like sorry, everybody wants to be coddled. Names. I don't. I'm not offended. I don't. I'm a little name. too strong for that, James. You can call me anything you want. It's not going to bother me. <laughs> well, you know? the only thing. The only thing I could. Uh, the only thing I can say to you is, uh, have your paperwork in front of you next Saturday. That's all I can say. <laughs> but uh, right, anyway. Today. Huh? Yeah, yeah, just try to have your paperwork in front of you next time. Yeah. Uh, uh, we, were, um, we were going over a lot of stuff before you called. I mean, uh, uh, like, like uh, Monsanto can sue farmers, Billy. They can sue farmers if only 1% of the farm's crop is contaminated by Monsanto's genetically modified uh, pollen, I guess. If, if, the, if, the, if the wind blows it over onto your farm and you have 1% of Monsanto's seed, Monsanto can sue the farmer. I mean, just an act now why of... Is, why, is, you know, why is that allowed? I, <laughs> good question. No regulations. No regulations in business, Billy. Why not? Why isn't there regulation? Greed. 
Why? I, I don't you know. said this week, Jimmy, how much, some of these politicians are so old, or up there, what do they need? Their salary is for say, for the most part, artists is disposable income. Right. The housing is basically, for the most part, paid for. I'm sure they've got a gas allowance. We know they get a huge food allowance. We, show, we know they get almost a housing allowance. Mm -hmm. So what is agreed about? What more do they need? How much the more do they need, they right? Doing what they were no to regulation to makes the corporation their people in their richer. area, region, state, county, whatever. Okay. Yeah. And then they produce jobs. That's what it's about. What do yeah. they expect to do with this extra money that they are so greedy about? Yeah. Now, uh, um, we also mentioned that uh, for every person who dies in a terrorist attack, Billy, 58 people in the United States die due to lack of health care. Yeah. We made, we mentioned that, which was very sad, and uh, also and this was very surprising 76 percent of all honey sold in the United States is fake is diluted with high fructose corn syrup now that is a shock to me I, are you yeah. dead serious about this? <laughs> yes yes it's and pure honey right and get this even the organic honey that you find in Whole Foods is 33 percent diluted with high fructose corn syrup so what you're saying is it's fraud it's fraud and it's not mentioned on the label. That's, that and nobody will go to jail. Fraud. You're not disclosing what your ingredients are. Yeah. Uh, you're, why is that legal? <laughs> Deregulation. Why? It, it's fraud. But, see, what happened to honesty? Your honesty listing what you have. Yeah. There's no more ethics and honesty in today's business world. It has become so corrupt and wicked, in my opinion. Well. Tubes. Yeah. You that, cannot keep shafts. You can get away with shafting the public and the people for so long. Sooner or later, it will catch up to you. It doesn't yeah. last forever. Exactly. Short term versus long term. Now, uh, we we inducted we right short uh, short term long term is the right way to think. Short term is the wrong way to think in business. Uh, you know, Forever Twenty One in the uh, all in the shopping malls. It's a, a clothing store for young females. Well, Forever Twenty Forever Twenty One is making all their full time employees part time and taking all their benefits away completely because because this is the excuse they have uh, to avoid Obamacare with the health care reform. Yeah. They're using Obamacare as an excuse to cut everybody's pay and benefits. You know, when I happen to think it's just old-fashioned greed. It is greed. It is. You and I discussed earlier this week, though, with coffee. Uh, we know all the grocery stores hire nothing but part-timers. Yeah. We thought we were doing the government today. We know your tricks. Part-timers or not, you've got to give them benefits. I mean, really, come on. See, everybody knows they're only hiring part-timers to avoid giving benefits. That should cut me loud. Yeah. Got the people, the public, the populace, the workforce, whatever you want to call them. They need help. Yeah. It's not getting any better. No. Well, since. The fresh factor in this nation and other nations. Well, since Ronald, Re Ronald Reagan shifted the tax burden from the rich to the middle class in the 1980s, and uh, the uh, which are, which make up small businesses, the middle class, and also uh, G. W. Bush uh, didn't it, did, uh, uh, Reverend Bill didn't he first start with the mass mass deregulation of all companies? Deregulation well, has been going on since the well, late seventies and lottery. Where's that fight? under Reagan. Tax lotteries? We are. We're the only democratic nation that taxes us lotteries. Oh. So where is all that yeah, tax money going? You're right. And we're the only... The public, the, the public doesn't really buy the argument. It goes towards that. You need to remember that was the original thing. Well, then, yeah, for that matter, yeah. you go back to the early days of Atlantic City. When they first brought casino gambling. Yeah. They were going to rebuild Atlantic City, make it or whatever. They have not done a thing. Well, this done nothing towards rebuilding that city. Oh, forget it. It's shot. Other like you heard even worse now with more casinos opening in other states as close by as the Poconos and what have you.
Uh, yeah, well, in New York, it's not even going to drain more of the uh, state coffers or Atlantic City. If you want to just go to the well, Atlantic coffers. Atlantic City is like Camden, New Jersey, Detroit, Michigan. They're shot. These cities are completely shot. Well, yes, they're. I, I, I don't know what the words are to describe those cities. They are incredibly in bad shape. Yeah. I mean, I forget the higher. It's the vast percentage of buildings are boarded up. Uh, the unemployment rate is beyond sky high. It's just, uh, it's awful. Well, I heard, I heard a real before you leave, uh, Bill. I heard a real tragic story on the news. A a a woman. Uh, um, she looks mixed race, or she could be Hispanic. She's suing. She's suing the either the hospital or the hospital and this or and the city of New York because her son, her son who wasn't a kid actually he was he was an older boy, he died because the hospital refused to help him because he didn't have insurance. Exactly. Oh, you're a psychic uh, no, cookie. Right, but that happens in more than just this one instance. But, but, but we heard about it happens more times every day, everywhere than you can imagine. But legally, legally in the United States, the hospital is not supposed to refuse anybody who's sick or hurt. That's legally, the you cannot turn somebody away. You are? And now, ethically, as a human being, if you were a doctor, could you? Ethically, no, I could not refuse any, I anybody. Not, I don't care, I'll pay for it even as a doctor. Now, you wonder if uh, 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 Obamacare I could not has. Turn even a child, even a child, I could not refuse. You wonder if Obama here has regulations against that. I could that. turn a human being a light, even an animal away. Yeah. That's just not my makeup. I mean, I mean, just think about it. For an animal or a human being or a child to yeah. die, to die needlessly, because exactly. they can't afford, they don't have the health insurance. Now, what to put a thing on this too? So he died because of a lack of money. There you go. Isn't that just grand? Doesn't that say a lot about the human being? Wouldn't happen in another industrialized country. It wouldn't. Die because of a lack of money. It wouldn't happen in Canada or Europe. No. Think what he could have become, boss. And we're pro-life. Maybe he would have been a criminal, who knows. But maybe he would have become something. Maybe not. And we we're pro-life. But he should have yeah. been. And we're pro-life in America. He, he's a life that was unnecessarily yeah. taken away. Or, 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 Billy, what if, what if a, a poor child in a, living in a ghetto had a super high IQ and could have been a, a scientist that would revolutionize anything but he couldn't go to he, he can't afford an education can't afford he didn't have the money for the education right yes we hear about some that do they get bailed out get an education it's wonderful but for everyone that we hear about on the news how many tens hundreds or thousands maybe are not afforded that same chance don't know. Right. It's sad. Right. But it, everyone has the right and should have the right to a good education. It's not right. Yes, including college and, and they do, I believe, in Europe and Canada. Is that right, Reverend Bill? Well, no, especially a young child that is so eager and really wants to learn. And they they're dying to get a chance. I mean, my God, give them the chance. I mean a brilliant they, mind is a there's terrible so many brilliant minds out there. Nothing says you the only brilliant minds are in a wealthy area. There it's not Brilliant minds at birth is not selective. Why? Right, look at all those brilliant minds in Wall Street. Uh, so, out of necessity, oh, they created the, it. was uh, so brilliant. No willingness to learn. It brought us well, to Bill, Bill, Bill says, uh, Reverend Bill says, what about all those brilliant minds on Wall Street? I, and I says, yeah, they're brilliant enough to be to be crooks, to be successful crooks. That's, that's about it. They aren't that brilliant because if they're so brilliant, the I was speaking not, sarcastically. Some that I, I do know don't even buy the stuff they recommend. So that's kind of odd. Yeah. You know, some of them do buy some of the stocks they recommend, but the majority don't. And they even told me, and my buddies told me that are all of them said, well, we're going to be They. Let's be honest. They said to Billy. They're proven crap. criminals, Bill. We really don't know. What <laughs> stocks to buy? Who knows? Yeah. The public is very fickle. We don't know what the public's going to do. You know, it's so all rigged, Bill. It's all rigged, and they're down, downright criminal. They it, 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 It's almost like legal criminality, really. Well, it was made legal because they deregulated the deregulation. Deregulation. Steagall and all the other, uh, you know. 
laws to prevent those things. They wanted to, so it comes down to they just don't want to. Jeez. That's yeah. what it is. They yeah. don't care to. It's uh, sad, fellas. It is sad. All right. It's a sad uh, state of affairs, fellas. Very, the human race is in a very sad state of affairs, and I, I'm very happy to have you on our show. It was good to be here, and I just want to close and say one more thing, as we discussed a few months ago. He may have, in many ways, been a jerk, but remember what Rodney King said, can't we all just get along? Yeah, but Rodney King... It's like we're falling away from that. Rodney King wasn't aware that it's all rigged. <laughs> right. But the bottom line, to make it simple, can't we all just get along? You know, that's what they... Do things, that's so what the... Fla- Sure, that's what the flower children said during the 60s. Yeah. Basically, love, but uh, love, sex, and drugs. they yeah. they they didn't know that we, it, we, the system was rigged either. Yeah. Uh, you know. Well, hopefully things will change. Yeah, we we were talking actually, Billy. You you and I and a friend of yours. Uh, uh, when did I see you last? Thursday. It was Thursday. Uh, we were talking about how trivial and and ridiculous it is. For marijuana to be to be illegal, and we were going on and on about it. Yep. Yep. It's the plant that grows, and the government's not making it, and he has way wide bar. The prisons are overcrowded, filled with little tiny crimes, like holding a bag of grass and throw somebody in jail for that. Yeah. It's ridiculous. Well, Grandpa. Let's, what's important? Let's really go for what's important. Right. You no, know, come on. I mean, Grandpa out the late Grandpa Al Lewis uh, had a crusade against. Uh, Imprisoning people for for having marijuana uh, possession of marijuana is that true, Reverend Bill? Not only that, people in prison. The, 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 the Rockefeller drug, the Rockefeller drug law. Right, we'll, we'll clarify. They that. wanted the reverse. Yeah, we'll clarify. Well, that. really, it's ridiculous. Yeah. All right, fellas. All right, Chief. Yeah. Take have a good have a good weekend. I will talk to you very soon. You're on, gentlemen. Have a good rest of your show. All right, thank you. All right, guys. Bye bye. Bye bye. Yeah, he. I, I'll talk to him about having having the facts in front of him on paper, like he was supposed to have. But uh, you were saying, uh, Grandpa Al Lewis was on a crusade for the Rockefeller drug laws, reversing list? the Rockefeller drug laws, which put people in jail for insignificant and minor offenses. Yeah, wasting prison space and taxpayers' money for f- frivolous well, trivia. It's getting the bad people off the streets. Oh, wait a minute. 